The nice people at Velaxing gifted us this three-tier dish rack. Now we need a three-tier. We gotta go up, because we don't have a lot of counter space. We live here on the ranch. We've got a cottage scenario going on, not a lot of kitchen space, but we still cook in that kitchen every single day in at least two meals. So we constantly are going through pots, pans, dishes, silverware, knives, you name it. So we need a rack we can live with because it doesn't come off that part of the counter. It's dedicated. So I love the fact that there's a rack out there that goes up instead of out and will hold all our dishes. I'm hoping this will do that. Now this just came to us in a box about this size. My first impression, it's heavy. That's good because it's going to go to one place and stay there. I like the fact that it's sturdy and appears to be heavy duty right now. So let's see what we get here. Ooh, looks like we have a mat that's going to go on the bottom. Looks like some other sort of mat. When I put this together, it'll all make more sense. And some of the things that you would expect with a dish rack, such as a silverware knife container. I'll figure out what that is later. The point I'm trying to get across here is that how heavy duty is it? It is heavy duty. This is metal. And it seems to be pretty darn solid so far as I take these pieces out of the rack. I mean, I'm pretty happy. In fact, I'm very happy so far with the quality. Metal, rust proof, scratch resistant. I can see it's sturdy and durable in that regard. So I'm gonna put it together right now. Okay, we're almost done. Seems pretty solid so far. The only recommendation I would have to my friends at the Velaxing is double the size of that piece of paper and make those illustrations twice the size. But one thing I wanted to point out, I really like this little drain feature. So on the bottom of this base piece, we just snap in a little drain and the water can come drain onto here and then you can kind of choose where you want to put it. Okay, so we've got it all put together. I've got the base on and I wanted to show you real quick here. This is that drainage piece I was talking about. So this can go right directly into the sink. Just put this right next to your sink there and that'll be good drainage. And then here is, of course, the utensils. And it is kind of nice. I've got a plate up here so you can see this is where all the plates are going to be. And then we can put cups and things like that here. Bowls, smaller plates and things there. And here's what I like. A cutting board holder. And this looks like it'll hold a couple of them, which is good because, again, I go through a lot of this stuff cooking all the time. And then we have these little hooks here. There's four of them. So in this case, I've got my tongs I can place there. So let's measure this because we want to see exactly how much space this is going to take up in the kitchen with the plates on top. So right now, from the bottom of the base to the top of the plate, we have 23 inches. And then as far as width goes, let's see, assume that this tray is going to be out in that position. We'll go from there out to here. I would allow about two feet and change, maybe go up to 25 inches on that side as far as the length and as far as width goes. Again, the mat down there at the bottom, we're talking about 15 inches. From what I could see right here, it's sturdy, well-made. I like the fact that it's rust and scratch resistant. I like the height so I can utilize counter space a lot better. It looks like it's gonna hold a lot of my dishes. Overall, I think this is well designed and I would recommend it.